There's a special kind of bond that's shared among aviators. It's unspoken, yet undeniable. It's a bond that's found in shared experiences. Some hard to describe, yet all too familiar to any pilot who has ever pushed the throttle forward. People from all walks of life are drawn to aviation because they seek adventure and exploration. They're pushed by the prospect of a challenge, and they're driven in their search for new and authentic experiences. The rich yet relatively brief history of aviation is a story woven by people, by aviators. Many share a similar story of an early fascination, perhaps sparked by a lucky airplane ride or a chance flyby of some barnstorming biplane. They are the very people who, over the course of their careers, have given everything to aviation and, in turn, have experienced everything that it could offer. Their collective passion has shaped the very trajectory of aviation as a community, a business, and an industry. At UND Aerospace, we call those people pioneers, and we've been lucky enough to know many of them as friends. Over the years, their passion and dedication to young people and their generous support of education have inspired the world's next generation of aviators. James Ray was born in San Francisco in 1923. His aviation career began while working just a few hundred yards from the USS Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor at the onset of World War II. After enlisting in the U.S. Army Air Corps, he went on to fly some 30 missions over Europe as a B-17 captain. June 6, 1944, D-Day, and Ray is in command of the lead plane in a 12-ship formation over the beaches of Normandy. This endeavor earned him the Distinguished Flying Cross and Air Medal with Oak Leaf Clusters. His service continued as a pilot during the Korean conflict. Even with a military history many pilots might only dream of, the breadth of Ray's career was largely entrepreneurial. He found success in investment and business ventures ranging from ranching to real estate. James Ray is a world-renowned aviator, and he's logged thousands of hours flying civilian aircraft. He attributes much of his success in business to the discipline he learned as a pilot. His influence and generous gifts have played a significant role in helping the John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences become what it is today. In the tight-knit world of aviation, Ray is well known, and he is a primary catalyst for driving other industry leaders to learn about the school, leaders like Clay Lacey. Clay Lacey is one of the most versatile and respected pilots in the history of powered flight. A longtime UND aerospace friend and foundation board member, his contributions soar above and beyond. An airline captain, military aviator, and test pilot, an aviation entrepreneur, air race champion, and aerial cinematographer, Lacey's achievements span an incredible six decades. He was at the forefront when Learjet was introduced to the world and in 1968 founded Clay Lacey Aviation, the first jet charter company west of the Mississippi, still in operation today. Lacey is type rated in over 300 aircraft and has logged over 50,000 flight hours. His commitment to education and to guiding the next generation of aviators is unmistakable. No matter the hangar, flight line, or cockpit. If Clay Lacey is there, he is among friends, and we are fortunate he has introduced many of them to UND Aerospace. Lacey counts Cy and Betty Robin, in whose honor Robin Hall is named, among his closest friends. 
Over the past half century, this husband and wife team has not only done incredible things for UND Aerospace, but for the entire aviation industry. Their company, Sensor Systems, is the leading designer and manufacturer of antennas for commercial, business, and military airborne applications around the globe. Their passion for engineering and electronics is matched only by their passion for philanthropy. In addition to UND Aerospace, they actively support museums and educational programs across the nation. Since the day Clay Lacey first introduced Cy and Buddy Robin to UND Aerospace, their support has touched the lives of countless young aviators, and it continues to reverberate across our campus and beyond. Another central figure in the circle of UND Aerospace friends and supporters is pilot, visionary, and innovator Joe Clark. His company, Aviation Partners Incorporated, revolutionized the aviation industry by introducing the blended winglet system and is now the world leader in winglet design and manufacturing. This technology not only saves fuel and improves aircraft performance, it reduces tons of carbon dioxide emissions to help preserve our environment. Clark's philanthropic work has earned deep respect, most notably in 1988, when he spearheaded a project to set a new around-the-world speed record in the United Airlines 747SB, Friendship One. Piloted by close friend and colleague Clay Lacey, the flight raised over a half million dollars for children's charities. Aptly named, among its 105 passengers and record setters were Cy and Betty Robin. Many say the aviation industry is a small world. As the industry has grown and technology has advanced, that world has become even smaller. Aviation as we know it today has benefited from the contributions of thousands of amazing people over a century of progress and achievement. These remarkable individuals include those we honor in this hall. James Ray, Clay Lacey, Cy and Betty Robin, and Joe Clark. They are the very essence of the pioneers we consider to be the core of all that is wonderful about being an aviator in the 21st century. Our UND Aerospace family is honored and privileged to know them as friends and mentors. But their stories, their histories, their outstanding contributions make them true aviation legends. <laughs>